Welcome to this video. You want to learn SAP? Either to learn SAP topics as a beginner or to get to know new things or deepen your knowledge as an experienced user? In this video, I would like to show you the seven best ways to learn and use SAP software. Lifelong learning is enormously important. SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA are extensive and offer an enormous number of applications and processes. There are numerous possibilities that you can use to learn the necessary knowledge for sufficient operation. You can therefore decide for yourself which learning opportunities you would like to use. Because everyone learns differently and not every method is the best. If you stop getting better, you've stopped being good. I think this quotation is really important by Philip Rosenthal. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So first of all, I can highly recommend OpenSAP. OpenSAP offers you numerous online courses for free. So for example, I will put the link in the video description. If you click on browse all courses, therefore you can select for different channels, for different languages. Most likely they are in English, um, for example, for target audience or for one specific topic. So for example, if you would like to get to know more about SAP S4 HANA, then you can select for this topic. Then you can scroll down, look around, and for example, if you would like to get to know more about the new employee business partner model in SAP S4 HANA, then here you can enroll in this course. So most likely you have to sign in and register to to use this course, but they are free and you will get a record of achievement after successfully accomplished this course or one of those courses and i really recommend using open sap have you ever heard about sap learning journeys at sap learning there you can open up sap learning journeys which offers you free online courses about specific topics and the best is that you will achieve a credly badge at the end after you have accomplished this course successfully and so for example if you would like to get to know more about sap s4 hana then here you can type in sap s for hana and then it filters for all the courses about sap s4 hana so for example, here you can explore SAP S4 HANA sales. You will get an overview of financials in SAP S4 HANA. And then, so for example, here you will get a nice overview what the current experience is in this topic should be, what are the prerequisites, what is the learning content, and so on. And as mentioned, after you have successfully accomplished this, you will get a record of achievement synchronized with Credly, with a Credly badge. So this is really great. And of course, to get a certificate about one specific SAP topic, you can also attend at SAP trainings. So most of the time they cost you amount of money so they're not for free but here you can decide between basically three different types so first of all you can decide to choose as a learning hub so therefore most likely you will have some kind of subscription to attend some online courses or some to, to watch some online videos and therefore get a certificate most likely to can choose sap learning class and therefore you can choose or join an instructor-led course also available on site in class or online if you want to and last but not least you can decide to choose sap certifications and therefore you will get also a certificate 
for one specific area. So for example, for a SAP finance consultant or what you like to. And if you want to, you can, so for example, for Learning Hub, there you can select your subscription and there you can look around and discover what are the possibilities about this or if we're going one step back and the SAP certification. So therefore you can also choose what kind of certificate you want to have. And of course, this is one great way to learn a specific topic in the SAP area. At community.sap.com you will have the possibility to join the SAP community and learn about the recent features about SAP topics. And here you can scroll around, you can read some nice articles, what are the recent updates from SAP. And what I really recommend about SAP community is SAP blogs. So over here, um, you can reach SAP blogs also via blogs.sap.com and here you will get really nice written articles about different topics all around SAP. So if you want to, you can filter for some kind of categories, what you like to. Also for some popular tags, you can filter by month if you like to or if you want to, you can just type in your keyword in search the SAP community. So for example, if you would like to get to know more about the business technology platform, then type in business technology platform, hit the enter key. And then down here, you will see nice articles. So sorted by relevance or if you want to get the re recent one then you can also filter for last updated and yeah this is really nice and this is a really nice help so for example if we're just jumping into this article you will also have the ability once you're logged in to comment on this article or if you want to you can also raise some questions so, for example, here under answers, you can ask a question or you just can search for different questions. If you're stuck, if you need some help, there are a lot of experts and the community is really huge. So I really recommend using SAP blogs and in general SAP community. If you want to dive deep into a specific topic in SAP or if you want to learn new stuff with SAP then you can also use Udemy. Udemy is an online platform that offers you a huge variety of online courses so you can attend these courses remote or online and for example under categories and then office productivity and then SAP you can search and filter for a specific topic so for example for SAP as for HANA, ABAP, what you like to or in general for SAP and then you can also search for your specific course but there are a lot of courses if you see they cost also a specific amount of money but most of the courses Courses are worth and can really help you to take the next step into your SAP career and therefore we will get also a record of achievement for completing the, the course and yeah this is really really great and is a lot cheaper than attending the official SAP trainings so have a look around search for different topics these are really really great courses they are available so furthermore YouTube is also a great platform to get relevant information about specific SAP topics as you might see right now you're watching this YouTube video um, please do not miss to subscribe this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. And based on this example, ERP app, you can also search for different topics. So for example, if you would like to get to know more about SAP FI CO in general, type it in, search for different videos. There are really great 
videos out there and can help you to take the next step in your SAP career. And what is really great that you can also comment on specific videos. So if you have any questions regarding this video, you can also comment under this video and you can, you can interact with the community. You can ask also questions. And what is the most important or the best aspect about YouTube videos, they're for free. So you can watch YouTube videos for free, doesn't cost you anything. And this is also really great. And of course, one of the most obvious ways or one of the most obvious way to learn SAP topics are SAP books. And without being paid, <laughs> I think SAP Press offers you one of the best SAP books out there. So open sap-press.com and here you can look around, you can you can learn really, really great SAP topics by books published by SAP experts they, who have a lot of knowledge and experience in a specific SAP area. So for example, if you would like to get to know about our programming, then just select your specific filter tag. You can also click over here to program and then our basics, what you like to. And here, for example, you get to know more about programming essentials about SAP Fiori, ABAP RESTful, or for example, if you would like to get to know more about ABAP basics to, to jump into ABAP development. Then you can also read one of of these books the, the, that are up to date, or if you would like to, to learn more stuff that are really, really great out there, really great books out there. And I really recommend using also books to learn new stuff, to be up to date and to learn by experts. And a really great advantage from SAP books is of course that you can read SAP books anywhere. So you don't need to, to attend any SAP class and you benefit from, from a expert knowledge. So you can read the book as often as you want to. You can read one specific part. So you don't need to read the, the whole book. If you don't know anything, you can grab your book and then read the part you want to. Really, really great SAP books to have them at home or in your office. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned a lot about the seven best ways to learn SAP. And once again, if you stop getting better, you've stopped being good. So ask yourself always, Remember to learn new stuff in the SAP topics because things are moving really fast in the SAP area, especially in the IT area. So choose one of the seven ways and try at least to be up to date. If you have any questions, as mentioned, put them in the comment section. Hit the like button if you like the video and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you very much and then see you in the next video.